What's going on everybody? In this video I'm going to be talking about a lot of different kinds of loot tech and tips here and there that I didn't talk about in my previous videos and I'm just going to cram them all into this video. When you react to your opponent's drive impact as you poke them with a low forward, make sure that you do not hold down while doing a drive impact yourself. Otherwise, you may accidentally trigger your uh, tar combo, so you don't want to do that. When you poke with a standing medium punch, you may want to preemptively buffer a Kurosoko forward input every time, because if the opponent does a drive impact and you suddenly need to cancel into super, you only need to do one more Kurosoko forward input, so the input is a lot faster to do. A dry brush crouching light punch is actually very very good. It's actually pretty hard to be ready to check it every time. Uh, you can basically use it like a crouching, uh, dry brush crouching medium punch, but at closer ranges. A dry brush into sandblast is actually a pretty good way to get some info and to see if the opponent is trying to check your dry brushes or not. If you have level 3 super or the opponent is in burnout, dry brush into heavy charge knuckles is also very good. When the opponent's in burnout, dry rush standing heavy kick is an easy way to get plus frames. Dry rush into stand medium punch is actually pretty good on block and it's particularly good against Dalsim or JP because you often can hit Dalsim out of his float or JP while he's busy throwing ghosts at you. When it comes to checking dry rushes yourself, this is pretty matchup dependent so you kinda need to test this yourself against specific moves and at specific ranges. However, at closer ranges, I do definitely recommend Crouching Light Punch. And around Luke's Drive Impact range, I do usually recommend checking with Crouching Medium Punch because it has a very disjointed hitbox. And then around Luke's Medium Sandblast range, I do recommend checking with Standing Medium Kick. ODDP also works pretty well at this range, and you can make it easier for yourself by preemptively holding down forward. Against some disjointed moves like uh, JP's Crouching Medium Punch, Back Heavy Punch is actually pretty good because the JP player relies on spacing it because of the disjointed hitbox. Back Heavy Punch is actually a very good counter poke. Its evasiveness starts at frame 4. When you throw an OD Sandblast and you know it's going to hit because your opponent did something vulnerable, you can actually cancel into level 3 Super and combo into it. This is especially very good against Fireballs. It actually works at pretty far distances. Shoutouts to Duel Kevin for this tech. That works? In general, when you hit an OD Sandblast, you can of course dash up to close the distance, but I actually personally like doing uh, a tackle instead. Luke also has some side switch combos, so here when you whiff an air attack and then a crouching light punch, you're gonna be plus 5, so you can do a meaty throw or a meaty crouching medium punch. I personally only really like doing this combo after a perfect parry. When you hit the opponent with a drive impact, this combo is super good for a side switch, but it's pretty damn hard to do. Uh, shoutouts to Bonchan for this combo. Make sure that you delay the back heavy punch. Here's another combo into level 2. This may also be hard because of the dash at the end. You can make it easier though by doing an OD tackle. This will do more damage as well. In the corner, when you juggle into a level 2 super, which most of the time you will do that, you actually want to meet the opponent with a crouching medium punch and not a crouching light punch, like I said in my Oki video. In my knuckle combo guide, I talk about this combo being good, but scratch that. It's actually not that good because of damage scaling, so do this combo instead. And it leads into a safe jump as well. Speaking of safe jump, uh, instead of whiffing crouching medium punch here like you usually do, you can also whiff a standing light punch, which moves you forward a little bit further. However, the safe jump after that will not work against characters with 5 frame DPs. Technically, you can still block those 5 frame DPs if you don't do any air normal, but I don't really recommend that. Luke has some other safe jumps that I didn't go over in my Oki guide, like this one right here for example. And then this combo technically can lead into a safe jump, but it's not consistent. It fully depends on how much you delay your air knuckle here. Uh, but it's still pretty good against characters that don't have any DPs. Me personally, I don't really like these last two safe jumps that I showed here, because I do this combo instead, which does more damage and leads into a meaty standing heavy kick. Speaking of meaty standing heavy kick, you actually get one after the whiff tackle after this combo right here. Uh, I didn't say this in my Oki gun. So this combo is really good right after a punish counter standing heavy punch into a light perfect knuckle. 
but close to the corner you want to do a run overhead or a heavy DP depending on how close you are to the corner. And of course you can also combo into level 2 super like you usually can from a medium perfect knuckle. So OD knuckle into the sweet spot heavy DP is not as hard as I thought, you can definitely get it down with some practice. If you space the OD knuckle though it will sometimes not work like the heavy DP is too far away. But after a max range crouching light punch or a max range crouching medium kick into the OD knuckle it will always work. Luke's air knuckle is great for movement, so for example when you neutral jump fireballs, if it's a slower fireball than you thought, then you can use it to kind of float in the air a little bit and land later. In the corner you can also bait DPs with the uncharged uh, air knuckle, and if you think they're gonna do normals instead, you can kind of do a fully charged air knuckle. Hit confirming Luke's standing medium punch into the tar combo is actually harder if you space it. Because uh, when you space this move, you hit with the second active frame, which, you know, uh, decreases the hit confirm window by one frame. And for me personally, that one frame makes all the difference. If there's even one frame of delay online, I suck at doing this hit confirm. So if you're good at doing this space hit confirm, that is a massive benefit. Like to put things into perspective, the range where his first active frame hits is around the range where his crouch medium kick reaches. Also, in my previous videos, I highly underestimated Luke's standing medium kick. I think this move is amazing, actually. It's very hard to counter hit. It's very hard to hit, uh, whiff punish uh, because it's very fast for its range. So it just you can kind of just bully the opponent with it. And it's especially really good when you have low drive gauge left or the opponent has dr low drive gauge left because this way you can gain drive gauge back or make them drain their drive gauge and kind of just control the drive gauges that way. Or, you know, in matchups where I like to primarily space and, you know, zone against opponents, I like using stand medium kick to kind of just get them off of me and continue, you know, creating space. But of course, don't forget it is weak to DI. This poke is also really good after doing a standing heavy punch into heavy sandblast in the corner. So I once talked about how you can whiff a throw after a mid-screen throw into drive rush uh, against people who are really good at reacting and DPing to your drive rush. However, some characters have very good horizontal hitboxes on these moves, so your whiff throw doesn't work against them. Against Jury, Gal, and Rashid, you can do a heavy charge knuckle. Against Honda, you can whiff a crouching jab. And of course, against Kami, unfortunately, it seems like your only option is drive impact. Let me know if there's any other option that beats this. So against horizontal supers, you can usually whiff a crouching light punch because most supers tend to be slow. But against faster supers, one thing you could do is like a delayed crouching light punch. So if they don't do a super, you'll you know make them block a crouching light punch. And if they do do the super, then the screen freeze will allow you to DP in time or do your own super in time. And then there's two uh, matchup related corrections I want to make uh, regarding two previous videos of mine. Ken's medium Jinrai kick, if he spaces it perfectly, your ODDP can actually whiff if he doesn't do any follow-ups. But this is very rare, so most of the time ODDP works. And against E Honda's butt slam, honestly I recommend just doing crouching heavy punch instead of the jump back, uh, you know, jumping medium kick tech that I showed off. Uh, it's just a lot easier and if you space or time it well, uh, it will beat both the light and the heavy version of the butt slam. 